Work has progressed on the Ghana gas project at Atriabo after a court injunction was lifted. What is left now is only some finishing touches. The gas project is expected to largely address Ghana's energy problems, but the project has met roadblocks since it started about three years ago. The location of the gas plant led to some frosty relations among the Nzimas in the western and eastern parts of the area. Compensation issues also arose at a point. The latest being a court injunction, which has since been lifted. Members of the Western Region House of Chiefs visited the site. On June 10, 2014, the Secondi High Court placed an injunction on the Ghana National Gas Company, Ghana Gas, its main contractor, Sinopec, and three others, with an interlocutory order restraining them from carrying on any activity on the land on which Ghana Gas operates until the company regularizes its occupation with the Eastern Inzima Traditional Council. The injunction had been filed by the Omahini of the Eastern Inzima Traditional Area, Awolai Amihi Ekpanyili. His reason was that the Ghana Gas Company never legally acquired the land and has not paid any compensation to the chiefs. After the court overturned the case, the government legally acquired the said land and work has continued. We have basically finished everything that we need to do. The offshore pipeline, luckily yesterday, the hardware testing of the offshore pipeline was completed and certified as successful and it's now ready to receive gas. The onshore pipeline has been hydro tested, the integrity has been confirmed and it's ready to transmit or trans transport gas from the gas poison plant to Abwazi. We are working with Talo to uh, finish with all the engineering designs and things to enable us, enable Talo to connect our pipeline to their plate and that will take a couple of weeks. I'm very impressed about the work done here at the moment. There is hope for Ghana, so let's all collaborate. This project is projected to save Ghana $500 million every year.